Happy January, my name is Sarah Yardley and I'm the mission lead at Creation Fest. And I'm delighted to just share a little bit with you as part of the Better Together series. We've been thinking about the parable of the Good Samaritan, which is one of my absolute favorites. And there's this little line in the parable of the Good Samaritan that says that he passed by on the other side. And I often think about that little moment because there are so many moments throughout my day where I must make the decision, will I stop? put my to-do list to the side, take away all of my burdens and cares, and pay attention to the person that God has put right in front of me? Or will I cross the street and pass by on the other side? I had this happen to me really recently. I'd come back from doing this big Christian speaking engagement in Birmingham and had spoken to a thousand youth leaders. I was doing my master's theology course on Zoom. We were thinking about eschatology and the end of the world. And as I'm on my Zoom call, I decided I must go get something out of my car. It had been a busy weekend and I had not yet finished unloading. And as I'm on my Zoom call walking down the street, I literally walk past one of my neighbors who has slipped and fallen and can't get up. And one of my other neighbors is standing with him, trying to help him. And in a moment, and for a moment, I thought, this is interrupting my day. I'm on my master's call, I've just had a big weekend of ministry, and the Holy Spirit smacked me across the face, I don't know if this happens to you, but it does to me sometimes, and said, Sarah, your literal neighbor is outside of your house, lying on the ground, unable to get up, and you are about to pass by because your theology degree is more important than the person who's right in front of you. I put my phone in my pocket, put my class on hold, and sat with this gentleman until we were able to help together to raise him to his feet, until his family had come and collected him. And my neighbor and I together offered if we could drive him to the hospital, if we could pray for him, if there was anything that we could do to care for him. He ended up going home with his family and has been slowly on the road to recovery. But I, I think of a moment like that and how easy it is for us to just pass by the other side, feeling like our agenda is the most important, feeling like our actions are the most significant, feeling like the things or the tasks that we need to do are of more significance than the people that God has put in front of us. And so I wonder today, as you think about this Better Together series, as we consider what it looks like for us, the people of Jesus, living in Cornwall, to live out the story of Jesus in our community, who might be on the other side for you? Who might be the one that you would not ordinarily cross over and go visit? And who might be the one that God would be calling you to step out of your comfort zone with a message of the love that never fails today? Pray, Holy Spirit, that you would invite us to be the people who go to the other side, unsettle our comforts and securities, break us out of our places of ease, and allow us to notice by the power of your spirit who it is that we might be called to cross to the other side for in Jesus' name. Amen.